Parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids Collective Nouns. A collective noun is a group of people, animals, or things. In our example, the collective noun team is a group of soccer players. The collective noun school is a group of fish. The collective noun colony is a group of squirrels, and the collective noun batch is a group of cookies. A collective noun refers to a group as a single unit, meaning one unit, so a singular verb is used. As in our examples, the singular verb is is used instead of are. This is a team of soccer players. This is a school of fish. This is a colony of squirrels. And this is a batch of cookies. To help kids understand this concept better, view this template with them. A singular noun is one player. More than one player becomes a plural noun, players. When all the players join to form a group, they become a singular collective noun known as one team. With kids, review the nouns that were shown in this example. A singular noun is one player. Plural noun is more than one player and becomes players. And a collective noun is when all the players form a group, and that is a team. Before we have kids complete the activities, we want them to learn a few more collective nouns for groups of people. So we are going to look at five collective nouns that will be used in the activities. We have already reviewed that team is a collective noun for players. In our activities, troop will be the collective noun for scouts, class will be the collective noun for students, crowd will be the collective noun for people, and choir will be the collective noun for singers. For this activity, have kids read each sentence or read each sentence with kids and then have them circle the collective noun in each sentence. It is fine if they need to look at the chart to complete this activity. This is a completed example. In our first sentence, this is a great team of soccer players. Team is a collective noun. Going down the column, our second sentence, Troop 57 is the leader in cookie sales. Troop is the collective noun. Our third sentence, there is a crowd of people gathering to see the magic show. Crowd is the collective noun. And in the next column, a choir of singers is performing today. Choir is the collective noun. Our class is studying science. Class is the collective noun. And in our last sentence, his team is up to bat. Team is the collective noun. In this activity, have kids color the correct collective noun for each picture. This is the completed example. In our first picture, we see three words, choir, team, and class. Team is the collective noun. Below that, we have class, troop, and team. Class is the collective noun. In the next column, we have team, class, and troop. Troop is the collective noun. And our last one, we have class, choir, and crowd. And crowd is the collective noun. Now we're going to have kids learn the next category, collective nouns for water animals. In our example, our first singular noun is one fish, plural noun, more than one fish, and it is also called fish. And the collective noun, when a group of fish join together, they are a school of fish. And we have a sentence that reads, this is a moving school of 
fish. Now we're going to have kids learn the collective nouns for some groups of water animals. The collective noun for fish is school. The collective noun for dolphins is pod. Then the collective noun for otters is bevy. And the collective noun for seals and walruses is also pod. Now have kids circle the collective noun in each sentence. And this is a completed example. In our first example, this is a moving school of fish. School is a collective noun. Then we go below and we see we saw a bevy of seals in the bay. Bevy is a collective noun. And the next sentence, the pod of dolphins was amazing. Pod is a collective noun. In the next column, we have this is a school of 20 fish. School is the collective noun. Below that, the pod of seals likes eating clams. Pod is a collective noun. And in our last sentence, the pod hangs out together. Pod is the collective noun. In this activity, have kids color the correct collective noun for each picture. And this is a completed example. Now we're going to have kids work with collective nouns that show groups of land animals. The collective noun for a group of squirrels is colony. The collective noun for a group of puppies is litter. The collective noun for a group of camels is caravan. The collective noun for a group of horses is herd. And the collective noun for a group of wolves is pack. Again, have kids circle the collective noun in each sentence. This is a completed example. In our first sentence, he is the leader of the herd. Herd is the collective noun. Moving to the next sentence, the colony stored several nuts. Colony is the collective noun. And in the last sentence in that column, the caravan was in the hot desert. Caravan is the collective noun. Moving to the next column, she had a litter of puppies. Litter is the collective noun. A pack of wolves has its own area. Pack is the collective noun. And in our last sentence, she is taking a break from her litter. Litter is the collective noun. Now have kids color the correct collective noun for each picture. This is a completed example. And now kids will work on collective nouns for things. In this picture, we have cookies. A singular noun is one cookie. Plural noun, more than one cookie, which is cookies. And the collective noun, meaning a group of cookies, is a batch. There is a batch of cookies on the table. The collective noun for cookies is batch. The collective noun for eggs is carton. The collective noun for books is shelf. The collective noun for grapes is bunch. And the collective noun for crayons is box. Now have kids circle the collective noun in each sentence. This is a completed example. The first sentence, he made a batch of cookies. Batch is the collective noun. She has a shelf of books in her room. Shelf is the collective noun. Cindy keeps a box of crayons in her desk. Box is the collective noun. Moving to the next column, this is a bunch of purple grapes. Bunch is the collective noun. A carton of eggs is needed to make the cake. Carton is the collective noun. And in our last sentence, this batch of cookies is too hot to eat. Batch is the collective noun. 
Have kids color the correct collective noun for each picture? This is the completed example. Now we're going to have kids complete the collective nouns crossword puzzle. One down is batch. Two down is team. Three down is shelf. And four down is herd. Now we are going across. Five across is class. Six across is school. And seven across is pod. Our last activity is a sorting activity. Kids are going to sort collective nouns according to people, water animals, land animals, or things. This is a sorting board for the activity. These are the collective noun pictures for the sorting board. And this is a completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, I will leave the link for all the teaching templates in the description section.